Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, February 19, 1778, James Willings Raid began in Natchez District, bringing the American Revolution to the doorstep of the Natchez region. Willing and his followers were part of a scheme devised by the Continental Congress to invade the Old Southwest. During the early stages of the Revolution, the population of the Natchez District had more than doubled as hundreds of British Loyalists settled along the banks of the Mississippi River between present-day Vicksburg and Baton Rouge. On February 19th, William Raiding Party arrived in Natchez. They forced the British Loyalists to take an oath of allegiance to the American government, and they raised the American flag over the fort. Willing and his men also plundered the property of suspected Loyalists, leaving a trail of destruction on their way to Baton Rouge. Upon reaching Spanish New Orleans, they were allowed to dispose of their plunder at public auction. Although the raid exposed British weakness in the southwest, the British governor of West Florida was able to prevent Willing from ascending the Mississippi River with provisions for the American Army. I'm Eden McMillan, a senior at Cathedral High School, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.